Today is a big day. Today I am getting rid of the last X10 device in my house. And unfortunately, it's up there. Stay tuned. Well, I'm up here in my family room and this outlet up here controls these lights, which are really under cabinet lights, but I I have them connected so they bounce off the ceiling and provide, you know, just ambient lighting while you're watching TV. This outlet is an X10 outlet. It's the last device in my house, and I am going to upgrade it today with this one, which is an Insteon outlet. Half of the outlet is switched, the other half is on solid. So if we wanted to put a clock up here that's plugged in or something like that, you'd plug it in down here. But this is where I'm going to plug these lights into. And the X10 outlet worked exactly the same way, but of course it was X10 and not as reliable and, and all that. So this is what the lights look like. And I'm going to go turn off the circuit breaker. And that way I know I can replace the outlet without getting shocked. Okay. Okay, out with the old. Now these are really easy to hook up. They just have three wires. The bare copper one is the ground wire. I connect that one first. The white one is neutral. And the black one is the hot. In the manual, they always call these the um, the line, neutral line, and uh, ground. I don't know that it makes much difference. My dad always taught me that that was neutral and hot, or common. There's many ways to go about it. It all depends on who teaches you. Anyway, so three wires and it's all hooked up, and I'm just going to screw it back down. But the way this works is this switch is lamps only. There's no ground here. This is not for an appliance, it's only made for lamps. And the other side is a three prong that you can plug anything in that you want. And the interesting thing about this is it comes with a, a little key that is magnetic. It's called the outlet dimmer key. I always get phone calls when I'm doing a video. This requires a dimmer key. It's a magnetic device that sits on top of it. It's this little thing right here. And what you do is you have to take the plug and put it through this. I did it the wrong way, of course. So this little key goes on here and it gives a little magnet on the end of the plug and that lets the device know oy, oy, oy. Ah, I see. you cannot plug something in there unless you have this on okay the top will not work so you have to make sure you can't put this on ahead of time really because there's like a uh, some kind of a catch that's across there, a safety thing, that unless the uh, magnet is there, it won't go in. So I'm going to screw this down first. Okay, I'm using the same cover on it. Okay, now that everything is hooked up, I can plug this in here. And go turn on the power. 
Okay, the power is back on, and I have one of these little testers that I can plug into an outlet, and if it gives me two greens, I know it's wired correctly. I have proper black, white, and ground connections, so that's good. And the lights are connected on the other side, and pressing the set button once turns them on, and again turns them off. Now I just have to define it to my hub. I'm going into the Insteon app. And I'm going to say add a device. It is a wired in device. Now because I have access to it, I can push and hold the button or I could add it by the ID. There is an ID, that uh, six character ID that is on every one of the Insteon devices. I could have used that, but I'm here. Press and hold. It says device found. And this device we call the shelf, for lack of a better term. That's what we know it as. So that's what I'm going to call it, the shelf. And it is in my family room. Okay, for lack of a better icon, I'm going to use this one, which looks like a plug-in outlet, but that's okay. And that's done. Now back in my devices I see the shelf is there. I can say on and we have light. Off and this is also a dimmer so I can go into the dimmer settings and say bring it up halfway. Bring it down to 25 percent. Really make it mood lighting if we really want to. You can see there that it's on. All right, that works great. Now I can get off the ladder. Okay, before I clean everything up, I want to do one last thing. I want to create a scene so that I can control that outlet with a keypad button. Otherwise, what's the point? I don't want to just use my app. So, I'm in my Insteon app. I'm going to say, create a scene. I'm going to call this scene Shelf. And let's give it an icon. I'm just going to give it an icon of a light bulb. It's in my family room. And I'm going to select the shelf as a device and the family room keypad dimmer. And I want it to be the third one down, button E is going to control that. Now, you can see family room button E, I'm going to set to both because that has a lighted button and I want that light to go on if I turn on the scene from my phone. That's what the light will do. That's what it says both for. And the responder, the shelf is just a responder. And I click done and it creates that scene for me. Okay, so it created my scene, and I'm going to try it, turn it on, and it works. So the last test is to try it with the keypad dimmer button, and lo and behold, the lights go on, and so there you have it. That's how you wire in an Insteon dimmer outlet, and I'll put a link in the video description if you want to pick one up and use them in your house. Thanks for watching. For more videos and information about Insteon, just go to my website, handydad.tv slash Insteon. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Solicitors. Always solicitors.